Hello friends and subscribers, welcome to another Blood Hive episode here on my channel. We're going to be discussing um, the saws, outdoor wood, woodman's survival saws, and uh, we're going to be discussing um, metal versus aluminum versus wood handles. And uh, also we're going to uh, talk about the weight, the size, and the convenience. Um, I had in mind, I was looking at some of these videos that people are making concerning uh, saws and also partable saws. But uh, a lot of it is, you have to keep in mind that there, there's a lot of, you have to carry all this weight. So I was thinking about making something where it's convenient, portable, and easy to, to transport. So the less weight, the better. But uh, so the first, the first saw that I built was this um, square tubing, three quarter inch square tubing. And the, the size of it, the handle is, um, is five inches and a quarter on this three quarter inch square tubing. Um, it feels very solid in my hand. It's very, um, just the patina on it is just, I mean, it gives my hand dirty, but I'm used to working with metal, but it's like very solid. And uh, whenever you cut this, you have to see, I have it like a little bit jagged there looking, jagged here. So you have to take a sandpaper and sand it down so uh, it won't cut your hand. So what you do, what I did is, is I just cut it to fit my hand right there, about this length here, five inches. It just fits perfect, see that? And I like the metal. I like the way it fits my hand, but I don't like the weight. I mean, it, it's, it's just the weight makes it, makes it feel, I mean, I don't like the weight I like the weight in my hand because it feels solid, but I don't like the weight carrying it in my backpack or in my pouch. So I have to make the sacrifice of, you know, do I wanna, do I wanna like carry less weight and be comfortable or do I want, I want it to feel secure in my hand or, okay, so I tightened it up. Tightened it up there and see, there you go. No, this is for cutting wood. I wouldn't recommend you buying these little tiny teeth. You, you need something like this, crocodile teeth right there. That sucker will cut through wood, okay? And these are basically for wood. See, it's got it right there to cut wood. And these are Vermont, American, Swiss made, but you can basically, this is not the blade for this. Of course, I'm just showing you an example of the teeth. This is, this blade is made for a saw saw and I didn't uh, configure this, not this uh, saw handle to, to fit this particular blade. So you need this on your bug out bag. Uh, we're gonna be discussing, let me turn this radio down a little bit, even though the music sounds really nice, but we're gonna be discussing, you know, what items uh, that you need to carry in your bug out bag. Even though Jesus said, don't worry about what you should eat, what you should carry, an extra tunic, you know, but we're gonna discuss it just for the sake of uh, the video. <clears throat> so anyway, um, just by this, this particular blades right here. So the weight on this is four ounces already weighted in my little digital, digital, uh, scale here. So four ounces, that's what it weighs. And that's pretty heavy, but it feels very secure, very, very nice on my hand because it's heavy and it's like, oh, perfect, you know, for cutting something. You know, I got some weight behind it. 
you know. But this one, uh, this particular model right here that I made, I'm not gonna take it apart, but uh, you need to buy this type of blades. And uh, what with this particular model is, uh, I put some holes in in the back to tie it with a string so you can hang it somewhere so you won't lose it. And paint it black. You wanna paint it black or leave it this color. I mean, this original patina. So this one has got extra handle there, as you can see. Works very well. It feels kind of flimsy, kind of light, but it's not flimsy. Both metals are, I mean, they, they're very durable. The, the metal here is, if it gets wet or anything like that, is gonna rust. That's the, the bad side from that. And then you have to keep it clean. Um, that's the negative on that one. Now the aluminum will not rust. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, I, I know that metals and aluminum doesn't rust. So um, let me take it apart and show you. Okay, taking it apart here. Make sure you don't lose your screws. Once you take them, take it apart, put it back. So, so you won't, um, so you won't lose your screws. Put them back in the hole, the way you found it. That way you keep from, from losing your, your screws. Because if you're out in the woods and you lose your screws, there's no Home Depot or something like that to go check it out. On my next video, I'm going to be discussing, um, okay. Let me not get ahead of myself. So this particular blade will fit in here. I have to take out the screws. Put something underneath to catch your screws so you won't lose them. Okay. This particular blade will fit in here. See, I, I need to shave all this stuff off so that, you know, it won't get caught in there. So... make it clean you know make a clean cut so you won't it won't be getting stuck in there so you push it in there easy easy okay right there okay there's a little hole in there so to secure it you're gonna put it through there through that little hole maybe this one okay there it is, okay. I did it before, what happened? Okay. Anyway, you get the idea. So, um, it fits in there, see? Point to point is perfect. And uh, this will screw back in there. One, one of your nuts here, I did, did it before. Is just not doing it for me right now. It's being temperamental, so you just gotta line it up, I guess, with a hole, and then, and then take it through there. There it is. I'm just gonna keep trying until until you get it right. Anyway, I won't go all the way through. And then you put your screws in here. Okay, and and then you get a washer. Uh, make this hole maybe make make an extra little hole at the end of this, so you can like put your screw here, your other screw, and we'll lose it just like that. Okay, so make a screw. I mean, make a hole at the end of this little square tubing here. 
this is three quarter as well, the size. But this one's got the this one's got the sharp edges here. I mean just the sharp corners. And this one doesn't. And that's why I think it feels smoother in my hand. Maybe if I sand it down, it's gonna be a lot cleaner and better. Okay, so what I'll do is so I'll just uh, come over here and just secure that to the end of this. That's where your tip is gonna be at when you make that hole. So this is this is very light, two ounces, two ounces, boom, compared to four ounces. And and I would suggest that you uh, carry maybe about 10 blades and don't don't go to the dollar store and buy you 50 cent blades I mean get you some really um, expensive blades that are gonna last you for a long time so you want to store them somewhere and maybe in a little pouch along with your thing and then you carry it with you and it'll those 10 blades will maybe equal to 10 five five ounce Five ounces, maybe four ounces. Very light. Um, on my next video, we're going to be discussing the bug out bag. Jesus said, you know, don't worry about, you know, what you should carry, uh, what you should eat, where you should sleep, you know, don't worry about carrying an extra tunic. Basically, Jesus was telling us, you know, don't worry about, you know, carrying a bug out bag or making a bug out bag. But for the sake of Blood Hive video and to make another video, I'm going to make a Blood Hive uh, bug out bag. Uh, anyway, uh, you'll see on the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video and this has been another Blood Hive video. Take care, my friend, and God bless you. Have a nice day.